Hi, Julie Jones from SSB Performance, Smarter, Stronger, Better Mindset Training, here with this week's Mindset Made Simple Tip of the Week. And this week, we're talking about pressure. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to spend the day with a bunch of young athletes who went through a USA softball tryout for their high-performance program, hoping to get a look to get into the pipeline for Team USA. Lots of pressure. I've always had great, great admiration for athletes who came out for our walk on tryouts when I was at Akron and Cleveland State. I thought that took a lot of guts and yesterday was no different. But what I observed yesterday really solidified my drive to get the tools out that I share with my teams and athletes to help kids improve their performance or people of all ages to improve their performance. Because what I witnessed yesterday was incredible. It was a great opportunity, almost like a study of how controlling ourselves or not controls our performance. What I first noticed was posture. Some kids were like rip roaring, and ready to go. Everybody was ready. Everybody threw it all out there. Everybody was awesome. But some kids handled the pressure better than others. Some kids threw their bodies all over the place after they made a mistake. Some kids just looked at their shoes. Some kids just stood with great confidence. Some kid was picking the ball out at first base, left and right, just making really nice catches on throws that were maybe a little errant. But the bottom line is how these players looked made such a difference on how they were evaluated. I'm sure of that. We can't, we have such a hard time separating the two. When we look big and look in control, our skills are in more control. And it was very obvious who had control and who didn't yesterday. That's the first thing I talk to the teams and athletes I work with is we cannot control our performance until we can control ourselves. And some of these athletes yesterday did not have control over themselves and it certainly did not help their skills or their performance or how they were evaluated. I'm sure of that. It was incredible to watch a mistake and then something lead to another mistake and another mistake. And I just wondered so many times, what if I stopped right now and asked these kids, to take three to five seconds to watch themselves be great in their head. What would that do to their body? Well, we really know what it does. We already know the research tells us what it does, but what would have, have done in that instance would have changed their performance in the next ball or swing or throw? What if they would have stopped and taken a really deep breath? I told numerous of them, okay, just stop, take a step back, step out of the box, step out, we'll do whatever you need to do. What would it have done if they would have taken a second to use a reset word, if they had one or a mistake ritual, if they had one. Coaches, wouldn't it be awesome if kids came to you in college and already had these tools to slow the game down, to slow down their heart rate? They're all at our disposal. Sometimes we know them and we just don't use them, but sometimes we don't know them, but teaching this can really change what happens next. I would love to know what would have happened if I would have stopped yesterday's tryout and said, here's a couple things you can do when you start to feel the pressure. We can handle pressure. Our bodies aren't built to automatically excel. They're built to survive. So handling pressure is a choice. And as my friend Kevin sent in the text today, chance goes to the prepared mind. Luck goes toward those that are prepared. If we have a plan, if we have a reset word that we practice and practice, if we, if we practice our breathing, even if it's just for five minutes in the morning or five minutes before we go to bed like we do with our son every night, if we can do these things, we can perform better. If you wanna learn how, if you wanna learn more on controlling your mind, because our mindset matters, visit me at ssbperformance.com. Check out the blog there and all the tips that we've talked about over the past 59 tips up to this point. And if you are interested in, in working to make your mind your friend in performance, reach out, Julie J at ssbperformance.com. Until next week, handle that pressure. Take a deep breath. Watch yourself be awesome. Have a great week.